Right, hi everyone, Paul down here at CCRV. Uh, we've just decided to do a little video of four useful items. Uh, we've been asked this many times by our customers, all sorts of bits and pieces that they need to buy for these uh, fifth wheels. What, this is the first one I'm going to do. Now this is, a, this is a kingpin lock. So if you just have a look on there, just show you what it is. All right, and then we uh, I'll, I'll unpack it for you. We get it out, we've got some keys in there. So all we do basically, this is to secure it. I think you need them for insurance and stuff like that. But this is basically to secure it from theft. This keeps the uh, opportunist thief away. So pretty much we just pop that over there. We lock that off there like that, take that away. That's on there and nobody can steal your unit. So, uh, but put a pin lock on there, bit of peace of mind. All right, this is number two on our item. Uh, this is a pressure reducer. So if you're thinking, there it goes there, this is one we've sort of made up, but you can buy these on Amazon and stuff like that. I think during the video, Steve's gonna put in somewhere where you can buy them and what pressures you should be looking for. Uh, but this is a pressure reducer. You must have this really, if you're gonna put it on mains water in the UK, uh, because England, Scotland, Wales, depends where you are, there's all different water pressures. So these have to be kept at the lower water pressure because the water pressure in the, in the United States is a lot lower than it is in the UK. If you don't use one, you could risk blowing some of the fittings off inside the van and flooding the van out. So you're on your campsite, you're gonna go on city water. You're pretty much, if you have a look at this on these rockwoods, it's really plain and simple. So you've got city water, you pop that off, you make sure there's a rubber seal in there, otherwise it won't, it won't bed out in there and you'll have water everywhere. And that simply screws on there, tighten it all right up. Yeah, so she's tight. Once you get the hose lock fit in from the water point, you just clip it on there. This is your pressure reducer. Happy days, that should be good, reducing the pressure. And then you simply put these uh, knobs here in a certain configuration. So we're gonna go for city water. So all I can see was obvious is the white one needs to be turned down to there. So there you go. That's the city water, that's the city water hookup. That's how you do it. But again, you do really have to use these on any of American RVs, travel trailers, motorhomes, because you do run the risk of blowing fittings off inside the van. Right, we've got tip number three, and that is a lube plate. You see these lube plates here? Again, as I say, I don't know whether Steve's going to help you buy in these or anything. You put a little caption where you can buy these from. Um, draw tight lube plate, that's the ones we get. So we simply unpack it and I'll show you what this does. Not so much for the rockwoods, let's throw that down there. Look. Not so much for the rockwoods, but if you've got, say, a Puma or, or one of the Crusaders or an older model one from anywhere else that doesn't, this pin box pivots there instead of on these rockwoods, it pivots from back here. So giving you more turn circle. If, you, if you're purely pivoting from here, the loop plate is essential. Now you see this one here, it's smothered in grease. So look, look, I've hardly touched it and I'm getting smothered up. So what you do is you pop the loop plate on there like that. Let's get that pushed up there. I think it's ever slim. There you go. So you push that up there. Now if you have a look at that, we don't need any grease. That's a neoprene ring. Uh, you'll get no metal to metal, no wear. It'd be quiet, it'll ride a lot better. Um, and you, you, you get away from the grease, all this crap here, look, grease everywhere. So that's what you need, a lube plate. So that's tip number three. So we're getting there. Now the, the last tip we're gonna do is a little bit more involved, it's a little bit on leveling. So we go and work on that. Right, this is number four. Simple sort of leveling, really. This is the cheapest way out. There's all sorts of bits and pieces of plastic and that you can buy. So the easiest way out and to get them stable is to get yourself a piece of wood like this. This is scaffold board. When you actually take it off of the truck, when you get it off the truck, all you do is basically take it off the truck and this will go under there. The wood will go under there. Keep this sheath here as long as you can, the outer one, and it'll make the whole van a lot stabler. But if you put all four legs, there's a two at the back and the two at the front here. If you put them on bits of wood, Cost your peanuts, no complicated tricks or anything like that. That'll stabilize the van a lot better. Right, if you're gonna go from side to side, 
if you have a quick look at that slide up there you see it has a fall on it and that's so the water when it pours a rain it's going to run down there and it's going to run off the slide so if you don't have it um, pretty much balanced side to side you're going to have a few problems so the cheapest that you can buy wedges plastic chocks all sorts of paraphernalia blow up airbags but what we found is a simple piece of decking like that you can either double this up depending on how level the ground is this is basic so everybody write in me comments this is a basic idea very cheap and it works because we're all on the site this is what we do so a bit of decking you simply reverse on your pitch go back another four feet so if you want to balance this one to go up on that side so you're a little bit out of balance you simply put that on there and then you drive over it and that is the easiest way you'll ever find to level up a fifth wheel so that's your fourth tip thanks for watching the video if you got to the end well done and please subscribe to the channel it's free just remember it's free and we're building this channel bit of fun uk fifth wheels thanks for watching There you are. All right. That's it. Right, you have to switch it off now.